In this video, I'm going to give you the complete guide to using NW Publishers app. The first thing we're going to focus on is the home screen. To get to the home screen, you tap the home button in the left hand corner. At the very top of the home screen, you'll notice the application the cog wheel. Tap on the cog wheel. When you tap on the cog wheel, you see several things that you can do. You can change your language by tapping on the language. You can go to settings by tapping on the settings. And here you have several things you can do. The app display. Tap on the down arrow. Now you can change the appearance of the device by tapping on device. You can go to light. You can go to dark. Or you can go to device which will deal with the ambient lighting conditions on the phone next up we're going to look at the map overlay tap on the down arrow and it gives you several different options default is the default setting that you have open street map will change it to open street maps google maps if you prefer using google map or google Maps satellite if you want the satellite version now if you want to show this month's report on your home screen toggle it on next up we're going to look at notifications tap on the down arrow for notifications and here you have announcements and events if you wanted to notify you of all announcements and events tap on that or assignments and duties if you wanted to notify you of all assignments and duties tap on that next we're going to look at reminders here you have the option or capabilities to set your reminders up for your assignments you can set it up for days by tapping on initial and the down arrow and you can choose the day or you can tap it tap the final to choose the hour that you want it to remind you to submit your field service report next you have duties toggle on the duties and then you can have your duties to remind you whatever days how many days you want prior to whatever time you need and also final the hours and then congregation events if you want the congregation event reminder on toggle it on and again you have the same options that you had for the other two and finally we're going to look at others tap on the down arrow and here you can enable a pin lock turn that on and then you set your pin now in order to get into this app you'll have to enter your code or you can leave it off if you prefer and then finally use device pdf viewer pdf viewer portable document file viewer like acrobat or some other pdf app then you toggle this on and it will be your default viewer for viewing all of your portable documents. Next, let's look at the about by tapping on about. Now this gives you all of the information about the New World Publisher. And if you want to make a donation to support them, and I suggest that you do, then you tap on making donation. It's going to take you to a place where you can make the donation. Next, we're going to look at help. If you have questions that you need to, that you want to know about the NW Publisher, then you go here and you have a plethora of information that you can use to look at and learn how to operate your app. And then finally, you have disconnect. You tap disconnect and it will disconnect you from the app. Next up, let's look at the home screen face itself. Here you'll notice in the left hand corner you have your service report when you get ready to submit it or if you submit it it'll show it here if you tap on it then you can go here and input your service information in on the other side you have your assignments and your duties if you have any assignments or duties it will show up there again you tap on it and it'll show you all of your assignments and your duties Below it, you have your information board. You tap on it and you can look at all of the information that is being presented to you, such as announcements. And then down below that, you have your documents and letters. Any letters or documents that you need to know about, 
will be here and again you just tap on it below it you have your congregation events and again you tap on the arrow and then it will show you all of your congregation events and if you want to add it to your personal calendar you tap add the calendar and then you tap it on you tap your check mark and Boom shakalaka is added to your calendar. Now that's everything for the home screen or home button. Next, we're going to look at the schedules. Now let's move to the next section, the scheduling. If you'll notice directly next to the home button, you have one that looks like a calendar with a check mark. So tap on it. This is your scheduling page. At the very top, you'll see the life and ministry meeting. It will show you all of the information for that particular month. So you'll notice that the yellow man indicates that I have a part on July the 8th, 2025. If you scroll down, you'll see Bertrand Dennis, I'm highlighted, and I have the part show respect in your marriage. And if you look at Tuesday, July 15th, you'll notice that there's a green man there. You tap on it, and it shows you that I have a duty on that day. I am the auditorium attendant. And then again, on Tuesday, July the 22nd, I have another part, and you scroll down, and it'll show you that I have the Congregational Bible Study. Now, next we're going to look at weekend meetings, and the same thing apply there. If you see a yellow dot, that's helping you to understand that you have a something to do with that meeting. So I'm the chairman for Sunday meeting on the weekend, Sunday, July the 6th. And then on Sunday, July the 20th, you'll notice that I have two responsibilities. So we'll touch that arrow and we'll look at it. And you'll notice that I have a weekend assignment. And that weekend assignment is going to be a talk in Kent. And if you scroll down, you'll notice that I also have auditorium attendant which is a mistake on the scheduler's program because I will not be able to do both. Now we'll scroll down and you'll notice next we see the field service. If you tap on the arrow there, July 7 to 13, tap on it and it shows you the information as far as the field service is concerned. At the very top, you got all the days of the week. And if you tap on one, it will tell you who has who's the conductor for that particular day, the time it starts, the location, and then the conductor. And finally, we're going to look at public witnessing. Now you tap on the arrow, and you'll notice here it shows you the locations for the public witnessing. It shows you the day, July 7th through 13th, the days of the week, and then the various public witnessing that we have and then you click on a down arrow and this is where you can reserve uh, one of these times for public witnessing for that particular location by simply tapping on it to reserve it next up we're going to look at assignments so you tap on the speech bubble and this is going to take you to the assignments. This week is the top one. So it shows that I have an assignment. Show respect in your marriage. Tuesday, July 8, 2025. Future. It shows you that I have an away public talk on Sunday, July the 20th. If you tap on it, it'll give you the information for the talk. And also when you tap on it, you can add to the calendar if you like by going down to the bottom and tap add to calendar and then you can choose all day or whatever time you want it to start you can add travel time in here you can have it repeat you can choose which calendar you want you can invite someone 
You can have it to alert you at a certain time and then you can do a second alert. And if you want to add attachments, you can simply add attachments. Next up, we're going to look at duties. Now you'll notice next to the speech bubble, you see something that looks like some uh, graphs or equalizers tap on it. And now it shows you your duties for the week or for the future. So I have no duties this week, but for future I have auditorium attendant and hospitality. So you can click on it and it will give you the information and then you can add it to the calendar again if you like. Next, we're going to look at territories. So you tap on the icon that looks like a map, tap on it, and this at the very top, you'll notice that you can do none, you can do all areas, or you can do names. Name would be your territory. So you tap on it, it will show you what type of territory it is, the area assigned to, and due date. If you want to see all of the territory and who the territory is assigned to in your area, tap on all areas, and now you can scroll down and you can see all of the different territories that are assigned to different ones in your area. So if we tap on territory number five, you can open map with this territory. Now you notice that you have a satellite view of the territory, which is nice. You can shrink it in by pinching it in, or you can expand it out by pinching out. On the territory, it tells you who's assigned to, the due date, and also notes as far as do not calls. And then finally, we're going to look at the me or personal information. So you tap on the picture icon. Here you can get information about everything within the congregation. For example, if you are an assigned brother, you tap publishers. And you see all of the publishers, all of the service groups. And if you wanted information, you could tap on your service group. And now you could get information about everyone in your service group, their field service time, whether or not they turned it in or if they still need to turn it in. Next, you have field service activity. If you tap on it, you can get information about your field service activity or you can even add field service activity here by tapping on a date and at the bottom putting your hours in, your uh, Bible studies or your credits. Next you have your field service history. You can tap on it and you can get all your field service history for up to two years. Below that, you have your contact information. Here's where you can you have your personal details. You would have your emergency contacts. And you can input this information right here by simply going and putting the information there and then sending it back. Below it, you have your away periods. Here you can add away periods by simply tapping on the new and then filling out the information. Or if you have a way peer information already in there, it will show up right here. And here, if you wanted to apply to all family members, you tap apply to all family members. And then that way, the information will be there for you and your family members with regards to your away period. If you want to request territory, you tap on territory requests and you choose the uh, purpose. And then you choose the type and then you hit request and it will automatically send the request out and then they will send territory back to you. Next below it, you have your literature requests. If you want to requ request literature, you tap on it, you tap new, 
and then you type in the type of literature you want, the quantity, languages, and any notes that you want to put in there, and then you push send, and it will send it. And then finally, you have the delegates. If you turn in service for someone who is either uh, bedridden, housewritten, or cannot get out in service because of physical limitations, you can be the delegate for them and you would turn their time in specifically from here. So this has been a complete tutorial on how to use the NW Publishers app. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I will try to answer them as soon as I possibly can. Thanks for watching and remember, please hit that subscribe button for more tips on how to use NW Publisher or any other apps that I show tutorials for on this channel.